relationships and the teachability index. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simpfai Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this particular topic gets, will really, 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 really help you identify, get some clarity, which we talk about, on how serious you are on this subject of relationships or pretty much any area of your life. But since we're talking about relationships on Relationship Thursday, we're going to use this index for this particular uh, topic. So basically what we're talking about here is what is your willingness to uh, be coachable, to be teachable versus your willingness to, um, to actually accept change. So you guys already know what I just said for most of you go, oh my goodness, what you mean change? <laughs> can be a scary thought for many. But what you want to be able to do, but first, even before I go into that, let's address this issue. You guys have heard me say it before. Be very, very careful who you're listening to, first of all. Because I'm getting ready to talk about the teachability. But folks, make sure you're getting the information from people that have been there, done that, and have the results. It's very hard. I was just listening to um, one of the young men uh, who's very, very famous. And, and, and I like a lot of this, the, the stuff that he shares. Great input. But he had an awakening himself because he had did... Um, a video on heartbreak or something and and um, he said that a guy saw him doing the video and after he got through the gentleman approached him and told so you've never experienced heartbreak have you and at first he took he was offended by the fact that this guy would actually come up to him because he's a big name and I'm not throwing names out there but he's a big name in the industry and feeling like I'm an expert on relationships and stuff and I know this stuff but he'd never been there before. And so now he has a different conversations in his videos now when he talks about heartbreak because now he's experienced it. And so that's, that's kind of, and I'm only using that illustration so that you guys get it, that it's hard for people to, and this guy, is, like I said, he is a big name and he's still single, but um, that's why I said it's very hard to go out and, and really get the information from people who haven't been where you are and have come out of that and then they're sharing you how they came out. And that's the reason I'm sharing with you guys when, when I talk about relationships because I have, I, I had 32 years with the same person. We went through the racial issue where family was gonna disown her for dating a black guy because she was Japanese. Having home, losing home, bankruptcies, couldn't have kids. Um, I mean, it goes on and on. She fought cancer for 17 years. I lost her seven years ago to that cancer. So, been there, done that. You see what I'm saying when we're talking about the, the, the issues when it comes to relationships. And I'm not saying that just for validation for myself, although it does validate it. I'm saying it because I want you guys to be very, very careful at who you're getting, because I'm on this thing about teachability. Be careful who you're getting the information from first because you don't want to become teachable to someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. Someone who's teaching you how to be a black belt in martial arts who has never taken up martial arts. <laughs> he has a general, she has a general idea of some moves, but that's not a good person to learn from. And I think you guys pretty much understand that. But anyway, so let's get to this, this teachability um, versus the willingness to change. If you're a person that you already have it in your mind that you know how relationships work and you understand, and I get that all the time. I talk to people and I'm sharing insight and 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 they want to interrupt and they're, they're going on and trying to give me all this enlightening information. And I, I leave them alone. I let them share. And I'm just sitting here like, they're going to have a rocky road because they think they know it all. And that's where we're talking about teachability. On a scale of one to 10, you have to ask yourself, where I, am I in terms of being teachable, coachable, um, willing, willing to hear from others? And then most importantly, 
the willingness to change on a scale of one to 10. Because some of the things that you're going to be taught may contradict what you believe. Are you willing to put those things, your old beliefs aside and says, I am coachable, I am teachable, I will make the adjustments on a scale of one to 10 where you're at. Because on a scale of one to 10, if we go 10, you're a 10 on um, being teachable and a 10 on making the changes, 10 times 10, that's 100%. You're in, that's kind of student. Or uh, we should say follower, someone who basically, and I'm not telling you folks that 100 is, is necessarily great. I mean, I'm just telling you on a scale of one to 10, 10 times 10 is 100. Because at the same time, I am a firm believer. And that's why I said I, 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 I take all of what I'm getting ready to say. I'm not a person that's going to ever tell you to follow anyone totally blind. And that means whatever they tell you, I'm just going to do. No matter what. Even if I feel like it's crossing the line of what I feel is integrity care. Because remember, I talk about this all the time. If it's the red flags, I'm not crossing the line. I don't care what your title is. I don't care where you've been. I don't care where you are. If you're saying stuff that's going to cause me to cross those, what I call red, uh, red flags, where it's going to make me question my character and integrity, I guess somebody would, some people would say I'm not 100% in, and I would agree. And it's not that I'm telling you you should be, because I think with everything, you have to take everything and use this thing with this gift up, upstairs, this brain that we were given that sometimes you have to be able to go against the grain. So, but I'm just telling you for illustration purposes, 10, 10, 10 at teachability, 10 at, um, at uh, um, the willingness to change, that's 100%. You're totally in. I'm sold out, whatever you tell me to do. Now, if you say on a scale of 1 to 10, my teachability is a 7, because you'll hear people say, oh, man, I'm, I'm, man, I'm willing to learn. I'm, I'm telling you, matter of fact, I'm at a 10. I'll do whatever you just share with me. I'm, I'm taking all the information in. But then the moment you tell them to do something, they instantly fight back against you. They're only really the, the willingness to change is really about a 5. So they're saying they're coachable, they're teachable at a 10, but they're only willing to change at a 5. 10 times 5 is 50. That's 50%. As we all know in school, that's called a failing grade. You're not going to make it at 50%. Um, so you guys can see how I'm using this illustration just so you know. So if you're a person that listening to what I teach and you listen to what others teach when it comes to relationships, but you're not willing to change. The only thing that you're doing is you're trying to look for people to justify your beliefs and your thought processes. You will always, and I will repeat because it is true, you will always have challenges in your relationships because anytime you think you know it all and you think you got all the inside information, even the people that you follow that you said I'm following them, they still don't have all the information no human being does that's again why i said be careful of the hundred i mean i i, I get it and, and i'm teaching it but i'm telling you but use your brain your logic at the same time you know don't go out here and say <laughs> if you tell me to jump off of the mountain i'm getting ready to jump okay <laughs> i'm not jumping so but anyway where is but but the, the whole point of this conversation is in your relationships you have to come to grips with that are you willing to truly look in the mirror, stare at that person and say, I'm willing to do and make the changes necessary to make relationships work? I have a young man that I mentor and that's what he's going through. I mean, the things that he uh, went through as far as because he went through the heartbreak, but he's taking everything. I mean, you're talking about someone who's who is on that 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 that, that 10 scale of wanting to say, I'm willing to do what it takes. I'm watching him. I'm listening to him. I'm watching the way that he, he's becoming even more coachable and he's making the adjustments and he's going and doing the, the, the meditating. I mean, doing the things that it takes to work on him because you guys know that's what I'm always talking about. That's the number one. Let's get you together first. 
And that's where this teachability index comes in place because if you're not willing to, to say, I'm gonna be coachable, I'm gonna be teachable, and then I'm going to make the changes that are necessary to get the result I say that I want, quit kidding yourself. Um, it was one of the things that um, I shared with a friend and she had called me because she said her husband was cheating. And I told her, I said, uh, do you really believe that? And she said, yes. And I said, so he is. And she was like, oh, how could you just say that? And I said, because you know, we all know. But I told her, I said, here's the choice that you have. One or two options. One, you're in for the long haul. You're going to fight. You're going to do what it takes to learn to make that relationship work. And that's one of those where I'm saying you have to decide that on the teachability and the, and the willingness to change. How much are you willing to give in this particular battle to get that? And she was willing to make whatever things were necessary to make that happen. And they're still together to this day. Um, and so, but for some people, they go, no, there are certain things. And, and that might be that red flag. Because for me, I keep saying no, but I'm trying to teach myself better and better that I would fight through that issue. <laughs> and I guess the reason I'm saying no, because I don't want nobody to hear this and I get in a relationship. And she said, remember what you said in that video? You would forgive me if I cross that line. You ain't going to use that against me. <laughs> no, I just can't. But what I'm saying is I'm trying, I'm, I'm getting to that point where it's, you don't let others' actions and the expectations that you put on others to make your decisions. And that's what happens when people cheat. They went beyond, you expected them to be a certain way. And because they chose to do what they chose to do, then you're holding them accountable to something that you created, not something that they necessarily agreed to. Or if they got married and they say they did agree, they did cross that line, but it's still a decision that they made and you are holding them accountable because you expected them to be true to their word and they chose not to be. Now, how you deal with that is going to be um, what we're talking about here. Uh, are you willing to say, okay, I'm willing to learn, take in what happened, um, go learn how we can, you know, what, what did I do? What did I contribute? And I'm willing to stay in the battle and be coachable and make the changes and all. Folks, you get to decide that. The bottom line here is this teachability. I didn't say it was easy. Because cause that, that, like I told you, that cheating one, boy, that's what... <laughs> <laughs> that's what I still I still have in my mind. I ain't clear on that one, and hopefully I'll never have to deal with it in, in a marriage situation to deal with it. I ain't saying it didn't happen in the dating stage. We know that that went on, but I'm talking about in a relationship that I'm committed to, that I haven't had to deal with that and hopefully would never have to deal with that. But the bottom line for this conversation is figure that out for yourself first. Get clear on who you're listening to. That's the first step. Then become teachable. Then become coachable. Then start listening. And that means now you're going to have to be willing to make the changes that you're told to make. And for some of us, it's going to, it's going to be a challenge because the fact is you've been around people and you've watched people and you come to believe certain things. And now what you're being taught by the coach may not coincide with the things that you've witnessed. But here's the key. The things that you witnessed, are they the results that you want? Because if you've witnessed all the people in your family doing it a certain way and their relationships are stuff that you wouldn't want, that means you need to be coachable and be willing to make the changes and not follow that path because you've already seen the results that that path doesn't work. Does that make sense? And so, again, the whole thing here is you have to decide and be honest with yourself. One, am I coachable? Am I teachable? On a scale of one to ten. And you'll know when that's true when the, the, when the change comes in that you have to make on a scale of one to ten. Because, for again, like I said, a lot of people, they, 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 they'll, they'll holler about the fact that, oh, yeah, talk to me, tell me, I'm, I'm willing. Until they're told that they must change their beliefs or they must change their behaviors. All of a sudden, the teachability disappears. Why? Because the change, the willingness to change disappears. Therefore, their ability to, or, or wanting to be coached and teachable 
will disappear also. So I hope that was pretty clear. And I just wanted to have that conversation because it's one that you have to have with yourself before anything that I'm teaching or anything that anyone else is sharing out here is going to actually impact your life. Is first you have to make that decision on a scale of one to 10, where am I at in the teachability, coachability? And then on a scale of one to 10, how will, how, I'm, how willing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Am I willing to make the changes that are necessary, even though they may seem painful and I may not understand some of them, but am I willing to trust the coach because they have the results? And that's why, again, I said, be careful who you're listening to, because if they have the results, they got there because of their thought process, which is why we are, we're all where we are in our lives, because of our thought process, our beliefs. Why? Because the way we think and believe our actions follow and then the results show up. So our life tells us what's going on. And that's something a lot of people don't want to hear because they, they're in the blaming world. But your life is where it is because of the decisions that you've made, which came from the stories that you wrote. You guys know I, 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 that, that step by step, I tell you, that's how it works. And, it, and it's not going to change. Be careful the stories you write because they will determine the way you feel, which will determine the actions that you take and your results will follow. So again, ask yourself the questions. Be very clear. Watch your actions and you'll know. How, how willing to change you are, which will let you know your teachability, your coachability, and then you'll be able to answer the question, why are my relationships staying the same? Why aren't they changing? And the answer, because you're not coachable and not willing to change. All right, as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Um, run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, ronsimplifiedmyers.online. And you see all the things that I have going on. Um, I look forward to talking to you guys on Monday where we talk about Self Love Monday. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you know you should be doing something else. So, folks, just get clear. Take this, this, this illustration I'm talking about here, the, the uh, Teachability Index. Get some real, real clarity in your life. If you're not willing to change, then you understand. You're not going to be coachable and your results will continue. And as we all know, you do the same thing over and over again. What is that called? Y'all know. Insanity. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.